Well, hey guys, welcome back to another trailer reaction. It's me, Monty, joined as always by Zach. What's up, Zach? Nothing, man. Excited to watch this trailer. Had no idea it was coming out. So, you know, when you when you made the call, I was like, yeah, let's do it. I like the first movie, so excited for this. All right, man. I I enjoyed the first Sonic movie. I'm excited for this one. Uh, are you ready to watch this trailer? Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, let's jump right. What was that? What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Come in. Hey guys, I love the first movie. Can I watch the trailer too? Uh, okay. Um, I guess so. Uh, joining us for the first time on the Montyverse, we have Nikki, aka the Egg Lord. What's up, Nikki? Not too much. I'm excited to be here. I didn't know the trailer was coming out either, um, but I really liked the first movie, so I'm excited to watch it with you guys, too. Are you guys ready to uh, check out this trailer? Absolutely. All right. Go. All right. Oh, the trailer before the trailer. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wedding. Okay. A little flower action. Aww. Oh, James Bond. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell? That's a dick move. Okay, so it is a <laughs> ring. Like a ring ring. Like it's a, like it's a ring. Ah, oh, puns. Wait, he was going to put that ring on someone's finger? <laughs> What what would happen if you put that ring on someone's finger? <laughs> Seems dangerous though. <laughs> Jim Carrey oh, is look, great. It's an oh, egg. Oh, oh, oh that was my boy. We need to get it back oh, Whoa. Yeah. oh Idris Elba. Dude, Knuckles looks so badass. Yo, he just my boy Knuckles just looking to throw hands. Oh, yeah, I'm a <laughs> okay. Hmm. Echidna, okay. I'm, dig I'm digging Elba. Digging him so far. It's time to say goodbye to humanity. <sighs> okay. Whoa. Is he whoa, whoa, whoa. To the new norm. Okay, so whoa. he's just a wizard now. He is a wizard. They went away from the science-y stuff and went to the, uh, <laughs> mystical. Very mystical. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Uh. Alright, all right. They're very big on the pun game, like with the first movie. Alright. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Look at this guy absolutely shred right now. <laughs> He's shredded, dude. I'm getting some Batman and Robin vibes from that. <laughs> uh, I was thinking Sean White, but... Oh, okay. Whatever. That's fair. That's fair. Uh... What the hell? Whoa. Oh, okay, that that's the, one uh, of the emeralds. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the Robotnik <laughs> robot. Uh, Whoa. They are really pushing for the sister. He is a legit wizard. <laughs> you forgot one. Alright, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast, Sonic. Alright, I mean... Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty oh, cool. <laughs> You're really bad at punching. That's hilarious. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh nice. my god! Line of the movie right there for a guy named Knuckles. You're really bad at punching. Oh, oh, I gotta god. say, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good trailer. I mean, listen, it's it's better than it has any right to be, right? <laughs> like Absolutely. for a, for yeah. a sequel to a Sonic movie. I would say so, and I think that's, and I really enjoyed the first one a lot. It was probably my favorite movie I saw in theaters in 2020, um, personally. And that might just be due to having low expectations given the trend with comic, with um, video game movies, but I I enjoyed it. And I'm getting kind of a very similar vibe where it's super corny, like they, they have puns all over the place. Everyone's just overacting at, like hell to everything, but I, I, I dig that vibe. So if they can replicate what they did in that movie then i think they're setting themselves up for success yeah i think this yeah. time everyone knows the movie they're making like they, they know what kind of movie this is right and, and i i think when you have like animated characters or pseudo animated characters like sonic knuckles and tails and you have jim carrey it's like the overacting and the exaggerated reactions like 
that all makes sense. It all works. Like that's the sort of thing you're used to seeing from animated characters and the type of thing you're used to seeing from Jim Carrey. So none of it feels out of place. It all feels sort of like balanced um, with what the movie's trying to be. So, um, and yeah, I, 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 the, the biggest surprise of that is just Dr. Robotnik going full wizard, which is odd given like his name is Dr. Robotnik. Like robots is sort of the name of the game, like sciencey stuff, engineering. I have they're, a they're vague, going mystical. I have a vague understanding of the Sonic mythos, but okay. I believe that there are emeralds. I, I know that there are the Chaos Emeralds, which I think right. turns Sonic in has something to do with Super Sonic, turning Sonic into Super Sonic, and then there's the Master Emerald. So I think that the emeralds may have something to do with his newfound warlock wizard like abilities. Um so I th I think that that's what's going on. I mean, at one point he teleported. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I guess teleportation is kind of like part of the the game anyway with the rings, but like that's more of like a portal, not really yeah. sort of like an isolated teleportation. I system. feel like they're showing us a lot. I feel like that's a, the weird. <laughs> oh that's yeah. A, we we know what the third act is going to be. Like we know we essentially know the three act structure of this movie like establishment then robotnik comes back and then the third act is he gets the his hands on one of the emeralds and all all hell breaks loose that's what it looks like and listen it's a sonic movie like that that's what happens in sonic so i'm 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 100 okay with that um we got a lot of knuckles in this trailer which i liked uh i think idris elba is gonna crush it he sounds great so Same. far I like the use of color too. Like I really like the differentiation of color. If we're talking about video game movies. This is the antithesis of Super Mario Brothers. That was bleak and dark and depressing. This is super vibrant and bright and colorful. And getting back to um, Knuckles, like I was, I had some question marks when Idris Selva was cast because it's so interesting because I feel like in a way he's obviously a little bit of stunt casting just to have a huge name for voiceover. And then they have Colleen O'Shaughnessy who is a prolific anime and video game voice actress who is the current voice of Tails. So it's kind of interesting to me having kind of that um, combination of voices here. But, and by all means, I expect her to absolutely crush it just from what we've seen. But with him, I was always a little more hesitant, but I, I love the intensity. It's, I think, a little bit more so than even other iterations of Knuckles I've heard. I've heard him um, in video games and in other TV shows. So it's it definitely is a little bit more gravelly intense the way that you would expect from Idris Elba but I really like what we're getting so far from him so in this trailer yeah right. and I'm, I'm curious to see where they go like where where what the end game is for Knuckles in this movie because I, I don't know a whole lot about the mythos of um Sonic and Knuckles but Sonic and Knuckles was like my favorite video game to play as a kid when I had a Sega but in that game, like I don't, I'm not paying attention to the storyline. I'm just playing the game. Um, but as far as I recall, like Knuckles is on the good side. He's pl you're playing against Doctor Robotnik the same way you would if you were Sonic. So I have to imagine at the end of this movie, like Knuckles is is part of the squad, um, and we're gonna see like a a bad guy turn good and help the heroes type of situation. But I'm curious to see like what that turning point will be. I, that and that's the thing I was thinking just as this trailer was coming out because I in every iteration I've either put with games or shows I've watched I never knew that he was ever aligned with Robotnik but I did um, some research beforehand in his original um, debut in the video games which was like 94 uh, apparently he was aligned with him in that one I don't know anything about that game um, but so even then, I, I'm interested to see how it, their dynamic plays out and, like you said, what the turning point, if there even is one. Because certainly, if this movie even marginally replicates the success of the first one, I'm sure they have plans for a third one in the works. Yeah, and it's also interesting because they have it's kind of like they have an established setup already from the first movie because the last thing Sonic sees before he gets sent to Earth is essentially like Knuckles' clan, like the, the Enkidas. Like they attack essentially his adopted mother. Um, that's like the last thing he remembers seeing, like, like these, these types of creatures, uh, like forcing him away from his home. So I wonder if there's any residual trauma there and that, that could lead to some growth with the Sonic character, because I really love Ben Schwartz's version of Sonic. I think his nervous, uh, spastic energy complements the character extremely well. 
uh, especially during like the uh, the fast talking scenes. I think he, he accomplishes those really well. So I wonder if there's there's room for growth with Sonic. Maybe him and Knuckles come to an understanding as, as two characters, and that kind of what leads to them joining forces at the end. Hey, and it also it might be a uh, like a Fast and Furious situation where they they don't necessarily team up but they respect each other and they agree to amicably part ways, you know. Fair enough. He's going to own a 10-second car. Absolutely. Well, I, I... Go into space. Yeah, and then go into space. <laughs> and then Shadow the Hedgehog is going to come in and we're going to do it all over again. I, I would not be surprised if they set that up in another mid- or post credit scene because I will say this. I was absolutely shocked that they did that in the first movie i didn't expect that we were going to see anyone else or that they were going to follow the mythos not not that they're following it closely by any means because certainly this is an original story but mm. i was i was so shocked and elated when i saw tales in the first film so seeing because obviously they bring knuckles in now and they're obviously getting a, um Robotnik closer to his original design. I wonder, like, what we're gonna see going forward. Because, like I said, I assume there there's plans for a third one. But there's such an array of characters, like Shadow, like Amy, that they could bring into this if they wanted to. Yeah, and I think what's cool is th the first movie felt very safe. It felt like a by the numbers, like buddy cop movie, like road trip movie. Um, but it didn't feel a hundred percent like a true video game like movie based off of the sonic character this movie feels like it's it's delving into the mythology a little bit more and that's exciting for me because i don't really know a, lo a ton about this universe so when you have situations that really help to develop the world and the universe that the movie set in like i i really like that and this movie looks like it's gonna d pretty dive pretty deep into that definitely, definitely looking forward to it yeah, me as well. And I, I'll say this about the first one. I gain those vibes from this one as well is that it, it's a, it's clearly aimed towards families and children. Um, but at the same time, there's, there's just enough there that I think has the mass appeal. Like I personally enjoyed it, um, watching it. And clearly I think it's success can be attributed to that ability to appeal just to kind of general audiences because it's aimed towards kids, but I never felt like the first one talked it down. Like it didn't like, it wasn't like, it didn't, it, it felt like a mature enough script in the sense that like, Hey, even with as small as the roles were James Mars and Tika Sumter, like they were in like actual human situations. And I think that mix of grounding that while bring in the insanity of Sonic, I think that like actually melded very well and i think made it a more appealing film as a result of that and i gained those vibes from this one as well where obviously i'm sure the stuff with tika sumter's sister is not going to take center stage but it'll probably provide for some humor and just a little bit of a little bit more groundedness too as well yeah i mean yeah, well, oh go ahead zach well i was i was just going to say well, one thing is i'm not even so sure that the first one was aimed at kids so much as it was just made very accessible to kids if that makes sense right because yeah. the movie like pat said it's kind of it's kind of like a buddy cop movie it's got a charming quality but also there's nothing that sort of puts it over the edge that that prevents it from being accessible um for kids right so um and i, and I think that's a, a good strategy for the movie and for this one as well so yeah i mean listen it, it, the trailer looks good it comes out on Thursday, I think, or the the preview screenings. Uh, I might have to check this out. I think I'm I might have to go on Thursday. What about you guys? I mean, I'm, I'm saw... going to see it regardless. So, um, yeah, I'll, I, if I go see it early, maybe I will. I I saw the first one when that one on that Thursday night screen as well. So um, I I have just as much, many plans to see this one as well as soon as it comes out. All right, so I, I think that's going to wrap it up here. Uh, Zach, where can the people find you? Um, I tweet maybe like twice a year. You can find me at hi, my name is Zach M. And that's about it. Nikki, where can the people find you? You can find me at Twitter and a few and other places on the internet at egglordnikki. Um, yeah. And you guys know where to find me. I'll be here on the Montiverse dropping videos. We got a ton of content coming out this week, so make sure to subscribe, click the like button, and comment down below if you're excited to see Sonic 2.
And until next time, guys, catch you later.